It's no longer about mastering your craft mm -hmm. and then repeating it and getting better and better at it, but rather it's about staying curious, staying ahead of the game, and then knowing when to pull in the right collaborations in order to make something magical happen. Hello and welcome to Top of Mind. Today I'm here at Brand Week and I'm with Ronali Zarati Bayani, who is the CMO of the Los Angeles Rams, the LA Rams. How cool is that? Go Rams! Go Rams! <laughs> yeah! So I'm super excited to have you with me and I want to hear from you. Like, what are you working on these days? Ooh, what am I not working on? It's a really, <laughs> really exciting time. I think for us as an organization to be able to build the brand in a way that is of LA, but to do it in such a way where we could bring it to life with the new stadium and our new home that we're moving into next year in 2020. It's going to be the most state-of-the-art stadium. And so the opportunity to reimagine what the Rams brand experience is going to be like and what that entertainment experience is going to be like for our fans is something pretty special that I feel very fortunate to be working on. So that's one. Wow, super cool. It's so exciting. Um, two, I think just being able to bring a whole new identity to life. So next year we're going to launch a new look and feel with new logos and everything. I can't say what it is and I won't. Mm, I um, feel a story. There's a story there. <laughs> uh, but what I will say is we took a hard look at who we are, what we want to be, what we're about, and more importantly, what we mean to our fans mm -hmm. and what's the best way to bring that forward so that we can represent them for the next few decades to come. So excited wow. about that. Super exciting and of course there is a story there. So. We'll be back for that one. What is the innovation that you're most excited about right now? There's so much. I think one of the things that really excites me is the pace with which technology is advancing. Mm -hmm. And so the opportunity as a marketer to create these meaningful experiences in a personalized and customized way, because you have the data to really understand your fan, but then to be able to transpire that in a physical way and mm -hmm. bring it to life with all the new technology and the bells and whistles, the convergence of that and the opportunity to meld that all together is an exciting proposition in and of itself. Wow, okay, and it uh, must present also some challenges. Absolutely. I think one of the biggest challenges as a marketer today is that the pace with which the industry, the craft, and the art is changing mm -hmm. is happening much faster than we as marketers, as human beings, can catch up. Mm -hmm. And so when you think about that, no longer can you be just the expert in your craft, mm -hmm. but I always say you have to be more of a modern day marketing alchemist. And mm -hmm. with that, you're able to pull various experts in various aspects of the marketing field, in data and technology, in you know meeting the consumers where they are and how and positioning, and pulling all those levers in mm -hmm. and finding the right mix at the right moment depending on what type of business objective or growth outcome you're trying to achieve. And being able to do that depending on the context that you're in is a very difficult task. It's no longer about mastering your craft mm -hmm. and then repeating it and getting better and better at it, but rather it's about staying curious, staying ahead of the game, and then knowing when to pull in the right collaborations in order to make something magical happen. I love that. I'm going to repeat that to a million people that I talk to because it's so perfect the way that you describe how complex marketing is mm -hmm. and why it is challenging to master it now. And I love this alchemist. Mm -hmm. Another story coming on that, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, so you just gave us uh, a really good descriptor on marketing and the mm -hmm. complexity. So what would be a piece of advice you would give somebody who is in marketing today or, or something that you've heard along the way that helped you in your career? One advice that I give a lot of folks is this notion of own your authenticity. Mm. There's a reason you got to where you were and there's a reason that you have a point of view. And that point of view is shaped by the experiences that have shaped your life, mm -hmm. whatever that is. And so in order to bring value to the table, you have mm -hmm. to have that point of view. And in order to do that in the best way possible, you've got to own your authenticity. I love that. So gosh, I'm so happy we were able to catch you for a few minutes while you're here at Brand Week. And thank you so much for joining us here today. Thanks for having me, this is fun. It was fun. And thank you for joining us on Top of Mind. Thank you.